loves God's own people. Why is that so significant? Why is that so important? Do you know, most people cannot believe that God loves them. Can't believe it. They just don't get it if you tell them God likes them. Most people certainly can't believe God likes them, so they think we're fantasizing when we say God loves them. Often the theory is that, isn't it? And you may even have come in here this morning, you know, it happens a lot, even as a believer in the Lord Jesus, convinced of your own sinfulness. Quite right. Humbled by this week's failures, absolutely. When you come in to sit with us, we all can come in here very easily. We sit there slightly guilty, slightly crushed, slightly cold. Yeah. True. It's all true. But I was right the first time, you know. It is astonishing that God does like you more than that. God passionately loves you with all that. Sounds like crap going on. I never say that. With all that stuff. And you find it hard to accept that. How about somebody on the outside who hasn't had your experience of God? Until somebody shares it with them. Until somebody who knows the love of God can show some of God's love to them. Philemon, your love for all God's holy people is most significant. How does Jesus say will people know and encounter the reality that we're actually a disciple of Jesus? It will be real to those people if we have love for one another, says John 13, 34 to 35. By this will all men know that you are my disciples. If you've read the latest book and know how to evangelize them very effectively, if you're back on top of all the apologetics that's coming, talking to his followers. By this all people will know that you're my disciples if you have love for one another. Why would people want to go to church if they thought it wasn't for real? An awful lot of them, you know, truly, truly believe this stuff we do today they here is fantasy. Unless somebody shows them how real it is. How will it show them it's real, says Jesus? By the love you have for one another. So when Paul prays for Philemon, it is the God-honouring reality of this Christian man that Paul gives thanks for. It's the reality that puts flesh on the bones and proves to a watching world this isn't fantasy. It's the love you've got for God's holy people. Here's how the genuineness of Christianity drives out the false charge thrown at us that we are fantasists. Oh, hallelujah, says Paul. Philemon loves all God's set-apart people. 